Hi everyone, my name is Joseph Amankawa Amoa. I'm the program director for MSc Management and also professor in international business at Kent Business School. In this presentation, I will shed some light on a whole host of reasons why you should uh, seriously consider coming to Kent and how that experience can enrich your career and life going forward. So why management at Kent Business School? At Kent Business School, we are known for, uh, 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 for our excellence in research, and uh, not just research, but quality research. We also have a number of experts in-house that uh, have worked in industry, have worked in government, that bring those experiences uh, to the table in terms of teaching. We are also one of the very few universities, uh, and in particular the business school, that have dual accreditation. So we have the uh, Association to Advanced Collegiate Schools of Business Accreditation, and then we also have associations of MBAs, uh, which is AMBA uh, uh, accredited accreditation. So they are around 5% of the business schools in the world that have this uh, two accreditation. So we are truly a, a, an elite in terms of uh, a, 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 the business school. And we also have the TEF Gold, which is the UK standard for excellence in teaching. This MSc management is more generally masters. So you do not have to have prior degrees in business and management to come onto our program. But what we offer you is a much deeper understanding of management in different types of organizations, whether in a big organization, in a small organization, or in the government sector. We also will uh, give you exposure to a whole range of tools and techniques about how businesses make decisions, how they assess challenges in the business environment, how they assess threat and design responses to those threats. As part of this program, we have a one week trip to Brussels and what we do in Brussels for MSc program is that we bring in people that are involved in policy in the European Union to come and give talks to, to our students about the different industries that the European Union is regulating, shaping industry standards, shaping uh, business practices, whether it's caring for the environment or, or, uh, 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 or, or maintaining uh, uh, standards. We also uh, uh, run a session called Meet the CEO, where we bring in a lot of CEOs from big organizations and small organizations to come in and share their experiences of, of, of being a CEO and, and what it takes for one to be able to become a, a CEO. We also bring in startup entrepreneurs, people that have started their own businesses that are doing very well to come and also share their experiences with our students and also uh, operating in the European Union and how that impact uh, uh, on, on how they manage their businesses, what, how they are able to uh, uh, take advantage of being in the European Union and gain access to other markets in and around Europe. As part of our program, uh, we also uh, have embedded a Chartered Management Institute practices. So once you complete our program, you will get a Chartered Management Institute uh, accreditation. And what that means is that, is that our program is valued by uh, 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 employers. So much of our 
materials that we taught, uh, they've been certified by the Chartered Management Institute, and they've and and they've been designed with employers and employability in mind. Another thing you also get with this uh, accreditation is that you become more marketable. Uh, Chartered Management Institute it speaks volume to employers. It shows that you. Uh, up to date, you have your shop in terms of current management thinking, and that helps you in terms of looking for work and your next career move. In addition to that, you also earn uh, qualification. And then also uh, uh, organizations that are, or people that have been certified by Chartered Management Institute also tend to and more or over time in their career compared with those without Chartered Management uh, Institute uh, qualification. And also give signal to employers that you can perform better than your competitors or any individual that you might be competing with uh, for a, a post in an organization. As part of this program, we have an industrial placement so we have an, an optional industrial placement that you can also opt in. We also offer this program for part-time. So if you a part-time student, they only come in for just one day in a week, although it tends to be more intense teaching, but it is just one day in, in a week and it is over a two year period. Once you, uh, com you complete the MSc management, it gives you, it opens door for you to be able to pursue a career, whether you want to go into your own business or whether you want to go into different industrial sector or you want to go into government or you want to go and work for non-governmental organizations. Uh, we, we, we equip you with the range of skills and expertise that are needed to be able to succeed in all these different sectors uh, program. So what are the specific modules we have to offer? So we have some compulsory modules and we have optional modules. So our compulsory modules, uh, as you can see on the screen, we have a corporate strategy and performance measurement. So this is largely a strategic management module and it takes you through a, the processes that companies go through in terms of formulating their strategies, uh, what kind of analysis organizations can do and, and, and then feed that analysis into uh, their decision making. Uh, uh, so uh, this module is very, very, uh, uh, has enjoyed very, very high, level, high uh, uh, feedback from students. We also have accounting and finance management. We have leadership and change. So with leadership and change, one thing that you will learn is about the, the different models or ways that organizations can initiate, undertake change, and also being able to implement change successfully whilst uh, maintaining support uh, within the wider organizational setting. So we also have marketing management and communication and here you'll be exposed to a whole range of marketing tools that organizations can employ and how they can be able to carry out uh, mar their marketing activities efficiently. The professional skills and employability development module is linked to the industrial placement. So this module runs in the in, in term one and in term two. Uh, so right at the outset, the our tutors will take a closer look at your CV or your prior experiences. They will give you some suggestions and advice on how you can build your CV, how you can improve it, and how you can enhance your chances of getting an excellent placement in an organization that you want. So the global business analysis is more about taking a look at a businesses' activities, whether they are conducted in one country or they are conducted in two countries or they are conducted 
in multiple countries and how managers can manage uh, organizations that are domestic, international, or uh, across multiple uh, culture. So we will uh, shed light on some of the cross-cultural management issues uh, that all confront international managers. The consultancy skills and practice is, a, is kind of developing your skills to be able to go into an organization, uh, identify core issues within the organization and be able to uh, uh, investigate it, come out with some solutions. Uh, to help the organizations improve uh, uh, themselves. The management consultancy report, this module is linked to the, uh, to the industrial placement or in the old times, people call it management dissertations. We have a detailed guide on how you can do different kinds of management uh, consultations. On our optional modules, once you join the program, we would run we run a session where we call uh, uh, meet the module conveners, where you we have a, a, a number of modules. They will all come in, and all the tutors will present to our students, and then after that, students will make their decision on which modules that you they are interested in doing. So we have optional modules in digital innovation, project management, uh, uh, corporate social responsibility so additional details on this can also uh, be seen in our program uh, uh, web link our msc management has been designed with very strong emphasis on employability and in that direction we have a number of guest speakers people industry experts professionals that comes in and share their experiences either in government in the private sector in non-governmental sector or in international organizations with our students we also have the AXPA lab which is which support entrepreneurship maybe you're thinking of starting your own business or you don't want to work for somebody else our AXPA lab will provide you with a, a whole range of tools and support on how you can bring your idea into conclusion. Maybe you might face, as you join us, you might face some health issues or you want career advice, you want uh, study support. Uh, our dedicated student support team are the right people to a, a, a right point of contact for you and they will provide you uh, uh, answers to any of these issues uh, if you need them and then also in terms of entry requirement so we insist that you should have a minimum of two two bachelor's degree or if you have an equivalent internationally recognized qualification in non business discipline that is also welcome our postgraduate program has a range of scholarship and bursary scheme that you can also apply in our homepage. On, we have a, uh, on our postgraduate homepage, we have a link onto the different scholarship and bursary scheme that you can also apply. Hi, here there are a few very important uh, links with regards to um, uh, uh, our MSc uh, management. So first thing I will urge you to do is to apply. So you can click here and you should be able to apply to our program. You can also take our Kent Online English Language Test uh, to, to see whether, whether your language needs updating. Or you can also click on the scholarship finder and that will give, take your direct link to the different scholarship and bursary schemes that we have to offer as a business school. Maybe you want to talk to some of our current students and they will be very happy to share their exciting experiences at Kent Business School with you. So you click on our uni buddy scheme and you'll be able to have that link. All our teachings are done in the sale and color loft building. 
So you can take a virtual tour of this building, ha have a look at the facilities that we have to offer, our classrooms, uh, and, and, and all the equipment that are designed uh, uh, and put in place to support your learning at Kent Business School. If you do not meet the English language requirement, we run a, a, a processional course that we also have online processional uh, uh, link that you can also, uh, if you click on the online processional English language course, you should be able to see the link and see the range of uh, support that we offer in terms of English language courses. Maybe you want to pursue career in entrepreneurship going forward. You can also click on our Aspar Lab and uh, uh, we have a range of workshops, activities that you can have a look and see uh, uh, what we have to offer. I will urge you to download the Kent app. It, it's, all, it's an app linked to the university and you'll be able to uh, 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 see some of the current activities happening within the university.